Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on equation and vertex of a problem. This is a requested a question from one of the viewers and it's a really interesting question. We're given three clues, or actually two clues, but this clue has, contains two pieces of information. The x-intercepts at 10 and 30 and y-intercept is at 30. So basically we have a curve looking like that. Okay, there's three points. Oh, it's a little off scale. But the three points we're given is when x equal to 30, y is 0. That's what it means to be an x-intercept. It cuts into the x-axis. Okay, this is 10 and 0. The y-intercept is where the curve cuts into the y-axis. And then we were given that point is 0 and 30. Okay. Now, normally, for the generic case, we assume y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. But that form is not as user-friendly as another form that we can use. We're going to use the trick that we have the intercepts. Okay, so we're going to assume we have a constant. I'm going to assume into the intercept form. x minus, uh, let's call it m, n. Okay, so here's my point m. Here's my point n. The reason I want to use that is, well, first of all, we have the information. m is equal to 10 and n equal to 30. The second thing is that I don't like to solve a system of three variable, three equations. If you were to use the three points and go in there, you have a, b, c to solve. Okay, In order to solve three variables, you will have to have three equations. Let's see if we can shortcut and use this uh, trick method. Let's see if that works. So over here, m equal to 10, I'm going to write it in there. So I have y equal to k, x minus 10, x minus 30. Now, if you're not quite sure how to get over here, it's really simple. When you have this form factored, okay, then you have x minus 10 equal to 0. That gives you the first intercept, which is x equal to 10. Similar for there, x minus 30 equal to 0 will give you second x-intercept, which is x equal to 30. All right. From there, I'm going to use the clue that the point 0, 30 is on the curve. That's the y-intercept. Intercept is just really a fancy way to say one of the variable is zero. Now, which one? And you're gonna have to graph it. Okay, so let's let's use that clue. So 30 is equal to k, x equal to zero, minus 10, and zero minus 30. So from there, I can solve that 30 is equal to k times 300. It gives me a quick solution of k equal to one over 10. Now I have the complete equation. y is equal to 1 tenth x minus 10 times x minus 30. Since we are looking for the vertex, we do have to multiply it out. So I have x squared minus 40x plus 300. Okay. 1 over 10, I'm going to leave it alone. Now here I do have to complete square. I will show you a quick method after this one. Let's get through this one, and then we'll talk about it. how else you can figure out the same thing here. So what I wrote over here is I'm going to add a magic number, subtract a magic number, so those two cancels out. That doesn't change what I started with. And this magic number I want to put in there is whatever the coefficient is, divided by 2 and squared. In our case, it's 20 squared. It's actually minus 20 squared, but it's the same thing. Okay. The reason I want to do that, and then I'm going to factor the first 3 in together to give me a perfect square. So I have a 1 over 10, x minus 20 squared, minus 400 here, that's this term, plus 300, that's this term. So 1 over 10, x minus 20 squared, I'm running out of room here, uh, minus 100. So one more step. 1 over 10, I'm going to multiply all the coefficients out. 1 over 10, x minus 20 squared minus 10 over here. 
So here's my Y form. And from here, I can see vertex is 20 and minus 10. How you find the vertexes from here is you set this chunk equal to 0. It's not a mystery. If you remember the plot back over here, halfway between 10 and 30 is my vertex. So x is equal to 20 is my vertex point. And if you know x equal to 20, you can very well plug it in there and find out what y is because vertex is a point. If you plug into here at x equal to 20, you'll see that y is minus 10. So it's not a big mystery. One way or the other, you get exactly the same thing. So here's my vertex. Okay. I hope that's clear. And uh, let's have a little math break. I'm uh, taking an art class, and then there's a fantastic book by Michael King. He's a big, big actor, uh, one of my favorite ones. But anyway, this book is called Acting in Film. So if you have, like, have a chance, check it out. It's really cool. Anyway, back to our math. Vertex is minus, uh, minus 10 for y and positive 20 for x. All right? I hope this is clear. And once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun, at least trying to. If you, the video has been helpful, and uh, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.